Yo, this is my first time making a how-to video. So, we're going to do a pretty simple one, pretty easy one. It is going to be a, a scrolling text. So, I use these in a lot of my games so that it doesn't just look like... So, I feel like this... Is just boring. It's you know just is not that good to be honest. It's good, but it's not that good, you know. I'm just like, come on, you can do better. So we're gonna make a scrolling text, and I have one right here, all ready to go. This I made for uh one of my games, and then we are going to have the execute the subtitle the speed per letter the duration and if you want to add sounds you can add those if you want to add custom sounds you can add those so it's pretty good pretty good pretty good so we're gonna be making this all right so we have all the chips laid out neatly we have one string length two delay chips you might not need to but i'm gonna use two for a certain part we have one add chip we have two int variables that are the same. One string, substring. Then we have three if chips. We have, this is for the audio. We have one audio player play, and then one suffix play. And then we have the player show subtitles, and then a greater than chip. So here it is all laid out. All right, so before we start, we're going to fill out these. So, uh, you want to use your configure tool right here, and then click on the N, and then it should bring up this. You can rename this to scrolling subtitle. Oh, oops. And then. add a port doesn't really matter what it's called and then for this we need one execute one subtitle we need two hold on, let me go ahead and fill this out real quick just string we need two floats. This won't be called speed per letter. And this one is the duration. Okay, now let's go to the audio. We're going to add a couple more. This one will be a suffix, so... Suffix. And then this one will be a pool variable. This one will be a audio player. Make sure it says audio player instead of just audio. This one will be audio. Then one more bool. Okay. So now let's start naming these. This will be this FX. So for this. This one will be audio player. Oh, oops. This one will be audio. This one will be audio player. Alright. All right. So that's uh, this section filled out. Now we just need one more for the outputs. Add a output and then just call this execute or just ex. Okay. So that is that all filled out. All right. So now we can start actually doing some circuits. So we're going to take all of these, move them a little bit. Alright, so right when it says execute, you want to take one of your int variables and 
make sure it's set to zero. Then this is kind of preference because later on we're going to have it so it can execute in two different ways. Uh, some people like it so it executes when it's done. Other people like it so it executes right when you do the execution. Or you could have both. It doesn't really matter. So if you want so it executes automatically when you click a, click on a button and it executes, you want to have this uh, delay and you just hook that up to there. And then have this delay be probably right there. Have this to after the delay and then have this to execute. We can move this over here. Okay, now, this will be seconds per letter, will be right here. Then after delay, we're going to take the player show subtitle, put it right here. After delay, we'll go there. Now let's go ahead and fill this out. The subtitle will be subtitle, and then duration will be duration. Now... After we do that, we need to add one to the int variable. And you have to make sure that these two are the same or it might break. So with this, we need to add one. Okay, now we're going to start playing the audio for every time it types. So we're gonna have an if variable don't know why I said variable. It's not a variable. And we're going to check if we are using a SFX. If we are, then go in and grab this. So if that's true, then do that. But if it isn't true, then we're going to check if we are playing the audio player. If the audio player is true, then we're going to target the audio player that you're using, and then the audio that you want it to be using. Okay, I lied a little bit, so we're going to unattach that, and then put this there. This should make it so it actually types out instead of... Doing that, so just put the subtitle to the string and then the result to the subtitle. So then we can use this int variable to have a length, and then after we do that, we need to check if. So a couple of things are going to be into this. So we're going to check if we are using a SFX. If we aren't, then we're going to check if we're using. A audio player if we're not doing either of those then we're going to check the length of the string so that will be greater than and then we're going to get the str uh, string length which we can just put it there then we want to attach this to there this to there and this to there okay not gonna lie lied a little bit we're going to get this string length and then put if this int variable is greater than this then if it is we can grab or execute this for if you want to execute when it's done so if it is then execute if it isn't then play that again all right, now that we have almost everything done, we just need to add a little bit something else. So say if this is true, this is true now, the SFX. So now we need to hook up this to go to there. Then also, if the audio is true, then we can hook up this to there. All right, so I grabbed a button and also hooked the press to execute. And I have the speed per letter at 0 0.1 and the duration at, turn that off real quick, and then turn the duration to 3. So it should be something like this. Pretty cool. 
now we're gonna add some audio to it so we're going to grab this and then all we have to do is hook up this yellow to this yellow and then turn that on then we're gonna find a sound button up should be good and then make sure that the interrupt current sound is tree it should be something like this should really do that i'm not gonna lie to you and that's that's really it for the scrolling subtitle pretty simple it's probably like advanced maybe for some people so other people it could be a good starter to learn how int variables work how if works uh you know this is a good thing to learn early on it's pretty good to learn um uh, greater than so it's pretty has doesn't have a lot of certs to it so it's pretty good pretty good to learn early on and that's pretty much it for this first pretty easy tutorial yeah make sure you like and subscribe like that thing said yeah have a good day uh our next tutorial is going to be how to make a money gun and then the one after that uh, you can probably see them up there and then the one after that is going to be a grab gun so the money gun kind of looks like this it's one of my old inventions uh it's just just rec symbols it's a rec gun and you just shoots out rec coins can i grab them you can't grab them you can make a grabble if you want but yeah that's pretty much it uh have a good day